Hi everyone, I'm Tom, and today I'm going to be playing Snowdonia Deluxe Master Set. Well, this is the complete, very fancy version of Snowdonia that was on Kickstarter last year and has just started delivering. And thanks to the patrons of the channel, patreon.com slash slickertrips, if you'd like to get involved in a vote, Snowdonia won the vote. I have already done a playthrough of Snowdonia at two players with the base scenario, but one of the reasons that Snowdonia deserves a master set is that it has an enormous amount of mini expansions, scenarios, various things all collected together in this box. And one of the five new scenarios is the Y Valley Torah, and that's what I'm playing with today. And specifically that one, because it works with one of the other new things, Bot Dell, which is the, you know, the Automa opponent to play this solo. You could always play Snowdonia solo, but it was more a kind of, you know, check, tweak a few rules and just play against yourself, beat your best score. Good for learning it or practicing, but, you know, to try and simulate a player, this is why we have Bot Dell from David Turtsey and Nick Shaw, who have worked together on a ton of various things. Nick Shaw works with Automa Factory as well. Very experienced soloers. And let's get started. I always recommend you turn on Klingon subtitles in case I have made any mistakes. So the Automa player always goes first. Bot Dell always goes first. You roll a die to see what Bot Dell is going to do. There are some considerations, like if trains are available, there are a few steps you go through first but otherwise he's just gonna roll the die and we'll get into what the scenario and stuff does as we go along really there are some tunnels to excavate there's some beer to be drunk yeah all sorts of things so you can see the numbers on these cards these cards were randomly shuffled from different selections of you always have the same colors so one green four white and three blue and yeah it just determines some random letters that the bot Dell is really going to focus on so if you're all a one or a two you move this marker along. If you roll a three or a four, this one. If you roll a five or a six, this one. So we've rolled a five or a six, so it's this one that's going to get moved along. And so the first thing that is going to happen is an A action from Botdell. It has a laborer available. You start with two laborers at the start of the game, one in the pub. Surveyor on the surveyor office because uh, Clan Beris is replaced with Ross on Y, which is a station rather than uh, just the surveyor office. So going to do an A action. When he has the opportunity to do an A action, if he has a choice, he will choose the second space so that he can stay first player. So that's what he's going to do. We don't resolve any of the actions yet. We just play, we're just doing the worker placement between us now. So now it comes to me and I'll have my choice. And you, you surely know the lovely painted uh, laborers and surveyors and what else is new? You know, the, the, the pieces, the demarcation markers it's not demarcation i can't remember the ownership markers uh you know, special shovel and track and stuff you know so many custom things for this this is a new board uh new artwork you can play the classic board on the other side of this and the board also houses all of the track and station cards and everything so what are we going to do we are looking to you know do normal snowdonia things you know dig up rubble the rubble <laughs> rubble lay track build stations try and do it before the naughty event cubes do it for us uh, get resources and stuff so that we are able to do all of that there are tunnels involved now that as you remove rubble from them you need to replace them with stone you know to strengthen the tunnels and you'll get points for having done that we can also get beer and we can drink that beer to get various benefits later on we have some trains the excursion train is part of the scenario and is one that you must pick uh, so the excursion train, when you take it, you put everybody's extra laborer on your excursion train. And when you know that you normally pay a coal to use your extra worker, when people pay to do that, they have to pay you the coal to get their worker off your train. And from then on, it goes back in the pub. You get five points at the end of the game for everyone's surveyor that is everyone's uh, extra laborer that is still on your excursion train. The others are just, you know, there is such a huge deck of train cards from all of the promos and various uh, spin-offs and things and all the different scenarios that have uh, come to Snowdonia over the years. And uh, I've picked some silly ones, but then you know, for Bardell, you don't play with six, you play with three. So we have the guinea pig train. When you get the guinea pig train, you can build in one station ahead. Usually you can only build in a station that's had all the rubble cleared out from up leading up to it you can build the next one along if you have the guinea pig train and a remote cabin in the woods to you know ev everyone loves five games for doomsday I thoroughly recommend you listening to that podcast where all sorts of board game luminaries talk about their you know most precious games that they would take with them in the apocalypse 
So this relates to you getting a load of rubble cubes on here according to the space that the event cubes are at. And then every time an event cubes out comes out, you get a rubble on this space. You get a point for every rubble on it at the end of the game. When the 11th rubble goes on here, the game immediately ends. So I don't know if we're going to be taking that because we're going to try and play it out uh, normally. But yeah, very, yeah, very cool train there. So what am I doing? I'm going on about all of this stuff. I can grab some resources and have first pick, for example, of the coal, if I want to be building up some coal to get extra workers later on once I've got trains and things. That's something to be thinking about. I could clear some rubble. The work rate at the moment is two, so I would only clear two rubble cubes for one action, which isn't enough to clear the card. Although some, we need to get started on it at some point. I can collect a contract card, and these can give you abilities and also point scoring opportunities. I can move my surveyor, and moving your surveyor is a way that you can get beer. It's tempting. I'm not going to do that just yet, though. I am going to take that first spot on the resource gathering. So we come to Botdale again. We roll the die for him, and he rolls a three, so he moves on here, and he's going to take a B action. Now there's two spaces here. His decision is he will take space one if he can clear a station space, which is what you get points for doing. If he can't do that, then he will take space two, you know, hoping that you might pave the way for him to do it later. As for me, I think, yeah, let's 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 show off some new surveying and maybe drinking some beer. So we resolve the actions now from left to right. So starting with action A, get resources. And starting with me, you can take up to three resources. Only one of them can be coal. I'm definitely going to choose to take the coal. What else shall I get? Maybe I want bars because once the trains are unlocked, I could grab the trains. But, you know, I want stone if I want to start building at the first station. What shall I do? I think I'm going to grab some iron for now. So for Botdell, he has a little flow chart. If he doesn't have a coal, he'll take a coal. Can't have one, though. If he has fewer than five iron, he will take iron. So he will take three iron for his three resources. And yeah, not much space for Botdell's stuff because of all of his cards. And trying to keep it all in on the static camera. Next up is excavation. And Botdell excavates at plus one the current work rate, so he excavates three pieces of rubble and gets them. Then nothing for all of these actions. And finally, G, move your surveyor. So move your surveyor usually, in the main scenario, is just move to the next space. Now here, Ross on Y and the surveyor office are one space, so the next space along here would be the Kern Bridge, rather than just moving on to here. You can pay a coal to move him anywhere you like, or you can just leave him where he is. I'm happy with just moving to the next space along, because if it is on a station with beer coasters, and you do not have an ownership marker on a beer coaster there, and I don't, you can place one on there, get a beer, and drink it. So to do this, we need a rubble from the supply and our postcards. Each player has one of these, and you choose your reward. So you can have nothing, but 11 points. You can have a steel bar and three points. You can have your extra worker and four points. You can have a contract card and no points. Or you can build in a station and get six points. A building in a station would be no good. Getting a contract card, whenever you take the stockyard action, the limit of max one coal doesn't apply to you. Immediately take any two cubes from the stockyard. After all of the lay, action, lay track actions have been resolved, you can take an extra one. And so you want to build in a load of tunnels to get points there. You want to build a load of track to get points there. And you want to be built in four different stations to get nine points there. I don't think I want a contract card just yet. I think my... I think a steel bar would be useful. I'm tempted to get my extra worker, but I kind of want to leave that till later on when hopefully the work rates have increased. So I get myself a steel bar that will be useful for laying track or possibly getting a train. So we've resolved all of the actions and everyone can have their laborers back. Next up, we need to advance the contract cards. That one gets discarded. These move along. A new one is drawn. And then we check the weather. Now, a new weather disc, according to the card on the top of the deck, that's going to be a rain disc, comes at the bottom here, and everything else gets pushed up. And so this round, it is going to be raining, which means when it's raining, you cannot drink beer, and the work rates both go down by one. Really unfortunate, because they weren't great anyway. And look at the upcoming weather. <laughs> it's just looking grim in general, isn't it? These are, by the way, slightly different weather 
criteria than the normal game. Obviously, beer isn't referenced in the normal game, and usually you cannot lay track or excavate at all when it's foggy. Here, one of the spaces of each action are blocked off, so fewer people can do it, but someone still can. Although you can't do track in a, a two-player game, there's only one space, so blocking off one space means no space. And finally for this round, we need to restock the stockyard. You see, for a one to two player game here, we need six cubes from the bag to see what new comes out. We have three there. That's a new coal. Four, five, six. No events yet. Events are going to advance the game and unlock our ability to get trains. We have some more iron there. And that is the end of the first round. So start player wasn't taken away. So Botdale is going to go first again. So we roll a die for him because trains aren't unlocked yet, so we don't have to do any extra. Rolls a three, so he moves on to the B space. Is there a station ready? No. So he is going to go in the second space there. Over to me. I think I want more resources. And I would like first player. There's two coal there, although the limit doesn't apply to Botdell. I don't think he's going to take two coal yet. It'd take one, but I, the limit does apply to me, and I could only take one. I think that's what I'm going to do. What will he do next? He rolls a two, so that's the top one, and he's going to take an A action. The first one isn't available to him, so... Well, the, the second one isn't available to him. I should have the first player choo-choo. And so he goes in that first spot, and it's up to me. I could do my surveyor again, but remember, we can't drink beer this round, so... It would be a bit of a waste. Maybe I should do some excavating so that I can start to build up some... It would be one rubble, though, a whole action just to get one rubble. Although he's going to clear that spot, I could lay track. Tr laying track costs a steel bar. I could be the first person to lay track here. Ooh, yeah, that, that seems good. I only get to do it once, but there's only going to be one space available. So yeah, I'm going to swoop in there. Okay then, so we resolve these spaces. First up, it is Bot Dell. If he hasn't got a coal, he takes a coal. He has got one now, so we progress down. Has he got less than five? Yes. So he takes two more iron. That's his three things. So this choice is going to change a little bit. Now he has got five iron. Move on to the next thing next time. It's my choice, and I, I still want the coal. I want to be thinking about this station, though, and having some stone. I'm going to take three stone. So I've got that waiting in the wings. Okay, we've done the A action. And so for B... Going to excavate at plus one the work rate, so he takes two rubble cubes. This is now excavated. And so we flip that over. Then he gets that back, and I can lay track, paying my steel bar to be able to place my ownership marker on here. Track has been laid, and that's going to be four points for me at the end of the game. And there we go. So we need to discard a contract card. New one comes out. Fog, where's Sun? So it's going to be Fog this coming round, then Rain, then Fog. So we need a couple of no tokens to say that no to there and no to there for this round. And then again in another couple of rounds. Uh, there are the... the Work rate doesn't change. This just means we block off one of the spaces. Beer can be drunk when it's foggy, though. You just don't want it rainy. You don't want it watered down, do you? So we are ready again, and I'm first player. Okay, what does this mean, then? I could take the only available excavate space. Again, the work rate is one, though. A whole action to get one rubble cube. You need eight to be able to build in that station. I could be moving my surveyor around, but there's two spaces to do that. Contract card there's only one space for. After all, other excavation you can completely excavate the next space with rubble on it. Wow, and if, if Botdell rolls a one or a two on either of his two turns, he's gonna try and excavate. But I wouldn't be able to do that this turn. I wouldn't be able to play it this turn because I wouldn't get the card until well after the excavation actions. And moving my surveyor to get the beer to get the contract card wouldn't happen until later in the round either. Still, that's something to think of, isn't it? That's a, that's a good card to have, I think. I want a contract card this round. And yeah, there are, there are two out of uh, three chances that Botdell is going to try and do that.
So let's see what he rolls. He rolls a three, which means, yes, he is going to try and do an F, but there is no space on the action space. So this means that he sets the laborer aside and takes one of each resource from the bag itself and two rubble from the supply. You know, this isn't great because the less that's in that bag, the more event cubes have a chance of coming out. So would I like just to get some more resources? I think I would. I'm not particularly bothered about it. There isn't much choice of what's there, but I think I would be, I would be happy with anything and I would be happy keeping my first place, I think. Yeah, let's, let's act like we're, <laughs> we know what we're doing. Okay, die for Botdell. He's gonna try and do a B action and that's fine. So he goes in the only available space. And let's just... And so let's resolve those actions. So nobody actually came in here to compete with me. I think... Now getting multiples of three iron is what you want the most. Because that's what the exchange rate is to get steel bars. I think I'm going to get two though, and the coal. That's me. He excavates at one more than the work rate, so that's two rubble for him. And then, go all the way over here, and I get a contract card. It's going to be the excavation one. And now I want to be, I want to have built in three station spaces. So not necessarily different stations, but I want to have built three of the squares that are on stations. And there we go, that's another round already. So we discard from here, move along. Grab two new cards this time. Sun, finally! Here we go. So, it is not foggy anymore. We can remove these no markers. And the work rate does go down, but it can't go down any further. But we know there is, <laughs> there is sunshine waiting for us in a couple of rounds time. Oh, we need to restock the stockyard, don't we? Six cubes. Two, three, four, five, six. No events just yet. But there is, there is more coal in the bag than usual because there are fewer trains out here and none actually come with coal on them. Sometimes there's uh, less coal in the bag because of that. So, what do we need? We need him having his things back. I'm first player still. What's going on? Oh, I want this at the ready, don't I? I'm, I'm hoping that nobody does excavation and then I can play my card and excavate the station completely and get points for it. So I probably don't need to worry about excavation because he can't clear the space anyway, even with his plus one. I would like some rubble so that I can potentially, oh, it's, it's eight rubble or three stone. So I've got the three stone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So that means let's do a build action and I can build in that station as well and get a load of points. That's my hope anyway. What's Botdell gonna do? Gonna roll a six and move up here and do an F action. So that's gonna be get a contract card. It's available so he can do it. He always takes the freshest contract card. Immediately draw three cubes from the supply bag. An event cube is drawn this way. Return it to the bag without resolving an event. And it gives you points for tunnels and he can get points. Botdell can get points from those cards just like I can. So we have one thing available. Do I just keep getting resources? I don't feel like I've got enough resources to keep, you know, to, to do a big conversion or anything yet, because you get three conversions. I'm going to come over and get some resources. He hasn't got an, oh, he's got an A coming up if he rolls a five or six again. Am I that bothered if he takes, I, I don't think he's going to take a coal. So I'm going to take the second space to keep me being first player. Is he going to roll a five or a six again? No, he's not even going to do that. He rolls a four and does a B action. And we know when he does a B action. Can he clear a thing? No. So he takes the second space, hoping that I'll take the first and then he can swoop in and clear the station. So resolve them from left to right. So we have resources. I More coal would be nice for my surveyor. So we can move about as I like and I can get my extra worker, you know, once I get a train. But more steel bars, I think, is always useful. I've got four already. I could just take two. So then I have, you know, a multiple. I have six. And then I have a stone. Uh, coal, I mean. I've got stone. Although I'm not going to have any stone in a minute. 
And that station wants stone. Once we get there, we, we can think about that in a future round there. That's my resources for now. Excavating, he excavates plus one the normal work rate, so that's two. I'm going to play my card. So this gets uh, tapped so that I know I've used the ability of it. I still get the points thing of it, but I can't use this again. So after all spaces have been resolved, I clear all the rubble on there. Bit of a waste. It's only two rubble, whereas a space later on that's got, you know, five on it or eight like, uh, like there, where you do need to replace the rubble you take from tunnels with stone. So I've cleared that space now. I take one of my ownership markers and place it on here to show I'm getting four points for doing that at the end of the game. And that is an ownership marker on a station, which counts for one of the three I need for some extra pointage at the end. So that was all in the excavation step. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Build eight rubble or three stone. I have three stone at the ready. Goes back in the bag. And I can put my ownership marker on there as well. So it's pretty much me on this station. The uh, Botdell can come here later and get some beer. He can. He's eligible to do that as well. So that is my worker, and he takes this contract card away. And also, there there are some conditions where you might want to know if Botdell has taken a contract card this round yet or not. It's face up to indicate that he has, but now the round's over, he can put it face down. So we need to check the weather, don't we? This card goes away. This stays, and we need two more. And then, weather is going to be the miserable fog, unfortunately. Also, miserable fog coming up in the future as well. So that means we need the nose on one of the excavations and one of the lay tracks. Filling up the stockyard is going to be two, four, five, six. Still no events. I definitely put them in there, didn't I? And there we go. We're ready for another round. So I'm still first player. I made a good going on there. I think I'm going to wait for any excavation stuff still, though, for a future round. I need to be thinking about steel bars. Now, I can turn my two rubble into stone. Maybe I'm going to do some conversion, maybe get some new resources. If I, if I go for the resources, I keep my first player, but Bardell might take the C. No, there's, there's no C coming up, so I am going to go for the second space there to keep my first player. Bardell... Roll a die for him. He rolls a two, and so he's going to take a B action. There's only one space for him to choose from. And I am going to do... I want to do some conversion, but we can have... Whenever you take the excavation action this round, remove double the number of cubes. The work rate is about to be three, so I could remove six with a future action. And maybe even more if, you know, sun keeps coming out. And potentially, you know, clear a station or something. Maybe we could, we could do conversion another time. Or th there's going to be train maintenance at a certain point in the future. Everyone with a train has to pay a steel bar or lose the train. This lets you discard this card instead, but you lose the points opportunities. I've already got one track built. Oh, I'm, I'm changing my mind and I'm having a contract card. And then Botdell is going to roll a two and do another B action. He can't, so he gets from the bag... Uh, one of each resource, and he gets two rubble from the supply. And he just sets that worker aside. So resolving stuff. I want... I could get the extra stone I need for this station once... when I convert with my rubble, maybe? Yeah, I think two iron and a stone is going to be my three. I've already got three coal, so I'm kind of happy with what I've got there. Then excavation, work rate's still one, so Botdell takes two. He's got a nice collection of rubble there. I've actually got none in the supply because nobody's spent any yet. So we get those back, and my final thing is taking a contract card. I'm going to take the double the work rate card. There's nothing to be discarded from there. These slide along, a new one comes out. Unfortunately, that's going to be rain. But for now, it's going to be sun, which means the work rate goes plus one for tracks, still one plus two for excavating. Six resources out of the bag, and I'm sure that we've got quite a collection of resources in front of us. Surely there is going to be an event cube on the horizon here. That's three, that's six. There we go, the first event cube. And this just means 
that the you know this is like a a competing uh, company that is a lot better at completing things than us it fully excavates the next card that needs excavating just that one <laughs> really so there's some track available now because it's not foggy anymore so we could go on build track i'm going to need to convert before i do that so is uh, botdell as well he's not got any steel bars so we've done the weather we've done the stockyard i'm first i need to do some converting then botdell rolls the die and he gets four which means he's going to go on d it's the track space he's not going to be able to do it but he's taking it away from me and so what do i want to do instead I'm going to have my resources. I could get another bar. Whenever you lay track, lay it at one above the work rate. Whenever you take the stockyard action this round, you make take two additional cubes and then try and do the stockyard twice at some point. I want eight rubble, though, to satisfy that card. And yeah, that's not looking great. Maybe I don't want one of those. I could get some beer. Hmm. The work rate is going to go up, though, and I am going to excavate more. You know, I could I could excavate three this round. We we're thinking, weren't we? Oh, okay, if I, I could double it. And do six. Because it's going to rain and go down. I want Botdell though to... I could always not play my double card. Yeah, I'll try and do some excavating. And... Hope that Botdell's going to go on B now. Can he go on B? No, there's, there's no way he can go on B. So that plan's not going to work. So let's just get some resources instead. Botdell is going to roll a six. And he is going to try and get some resources. Good job I did that, because he would have taken first player off me. Okay, so resolving all this. He's got a coal, so he skips that. He's got at least five iron, so we move on to the next step for the first time. So how much has he got? He's got three, six, seven. He takes iron until he's got a multiple of three. So two of it is going to be iron. And then he takes stone until he's got a multiple of four stone. You can only take one because you get three resources. I am going to go for... I think I'm going to go for a stone and another couple of iron. I don't think I'm going to convert the rubble. He's going to do three big iron conversions, I feel. So that is our resources done. Then conversions, I get three conversions. So that is going to be one, two, three iron bars I want. So a lot of iron to go back in the bag and maybe prevent the event cubes. Although I would like to buy a train now. I've got all of these steel bars. Three of the so I've got so I've got three iron bars now, and that's my three conversions. So we go to lay track now. If he doesn't have any steel bars, or if it's foggy and the space isn't available, he goes to the his no effect procedure. I don't think you're going to be able to see this very clearly on the static camera. The no effect procedure. Does he have three or more iron ore but no steel bars? Yes. He's going to convert nine iron ore into three steel bars. So pretty powerful action, especially, you know, even though I blocked him off there, he gets, uh, he gets special dispensation. So he's going to do his three, six, nine into three steel bars. So now he can do that. It would definitely have been nice to pick up that contract card that would have let me lay track at one above the work rate because I can afford to do it steel wise but the work rate is not going to go up into the two section okay we've done all of our actions weather that card goes away they slide along new one comes out and thankfully it's going to be sunny we can just put this right at the bottom it's foggy for now which means we need some nose oh no track laying okay oh i'm forgetting as well possibly a <laughs> really important change here I'm, I'm just thinking of this as the surveyor's office. This is a station waiting to be built at. It doesn't mean we couldn't have built there. You can build at any station that, you know, has been excavated up to. But this one here, I could be spending coal. I could be spending anything. I'm going to do some uh, some building. And if, if Botdell doesn't take the other space, I think I'm going to take uh, both spaces this round. He's going to do A again, which, oh, he does take first player away from me. So that's a bit of a bummer. But now... Do I take both? I can, I can get you know, some good rewards for doing this. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah. It is all my steel bar. I can't lay track, though, can I? I'm not going to have that many resources. I'm, go I'm going for it. Did we... Did we do the six 
We didn't do the six things out of the bag, did we? Just in case that changes my mind, in case the dummy player does stuff. Okay, so we, we are on trains are available to build. So that does actually change Bot Dell's mind a little bit. So we would need an extra roll for Bot Dell. Once trains are available, this happens to him every round. So he rolls this. If he rolls an even number and has at least one coal, he'll get his laborer this round. He doesn't. If the current weather is sun and he has at least two coal, he will spend that and get his laborer. But yeah, he, he didn't roll even and it's not sunny, so he doesn't get his extra worker. And we can carry on just as normal. So I can, I can use that space to get a train instead of... So I could, I could be building a station ahead. Or I could get the excursion train and possibly make five points if Botdell never uses his extra worker. I think he will, though. I could just get the remote cabin in the woods and just end the game prematurely. I like, this, I like the idea of the guinea pig train, though. Anyway, that's for resolution. It's, uh, it's Botdell's turn for his second worker. He rolls a six again, and that is going to be an F action, which is contract cards. So let's resolve this. He, he's got a coal. He hasn't got five iron anymore, so he will take three iron until he's got five again. Then, nothing for all of this. Building. So do I want to build or do I want a train? Now, I can... I can for now... Let's, let's do a build. So I need an ownership marker. I'm going to spend a coal here. Do I want to do that? It is. You are limited by ownership markers. I would like... Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to spend a steel bar to get a contract card. So steel bar spent. I'm going to take the contract card that increases... increases the work rate of tracks and... It rewards you for building in loads of stations, which I seem to be doing. So, yeah, that's not a bad thing, is it? So that's my first build. I haven't got two iron. I could spend a coal and that would get me my extra work next round. I think I'm going to do that purely because, you know, I've, I've got coal to spare, really. I can hang on to the steel bars. I can do a trade another time. I'm going to get my work next round. And... The rest of that sentence. It's another thing for my... I now need eight markers on stations. I have three, four, five. I'm assuming the beer marker counts for this. Uh, so yeah, my, my coal is spent and goes back to the bag. I'm quite happy with that. Then he takes always takes the rightmost contract card. That's the one he gained this round. But I don't think it's going to matter, so it can go face down. So restocking up. We need two new cards, and I think that means sun's coming. There we go. Some lovely, lovely sun is on the horizon. So the work rate is going to go down again and nobody can drink beer because it's raining this round. But in the future, the work rates are going to just skyrocket. We are allowed to go on those spaces again. We need six cubes coming out of the bag. Oh, that is five. One more. Is it an event cube? Nope. A load of iron and another stone. And we're ready for the next round where now Botdell is the first player. He needs his worker back. But I think we're going to stop there for part one. Hopefully you've got a good idea of what's uh, new about the Y Valley thing. We haven't got to the tunnels yet, have we? <laughs> yeah, we're getting there, I promise. Although now, now you need stone to excavate. So that's where it's going to get uh, a bit more tricky. I'm probably going to need to get more stone. The Botdell already has stone waiting in the wings. And we have the surveyor and the beer and all of that stuff. I'm going to carry it on in part two, though, and go all the way up to the end. If you'd like to know what I think, you can jump straight to that in the description or a link's coming up in a minute that will take you there or to part two. Or there's hundreds of other playthroughs you can look at. Or you can head over to patreon.com slash slickerdrips and support the channel and help me keep making these videos. It's all up to you, though, isn't it? I'll see you wherever you end up. Bye, everyone.